Leave it to a girl to screw things up. Stop bugging her, Airhead. You need to give girls space when they do their sewing. Wait a second, there's no way a bunch of girls took us down. Sorry, ladies, didn't mean to interrupt your dance lesson. Just bend the slurry, woman! It seems like character growth is no longer allowed in modern day Hollywood and that is what we're hearing about Avatar The Last Airbender series that's coming out with Netflix. They took out an integral part to a specific character concerning his character growth from someone that didn't believe in women having the capabilities of matching men at least when it comes to the water tribe and uh, the patriarchy established within that tribe and they summarily excised that out of the story because they felt like this was too oppressive and too demeaning to women to actually have someone that was sexist grow into someone that actually believes in the strength of women and so characters can't grow anymore at least apparently to the script writers and the producers for the Netflix live action adaptation of Avatar they don't see that as something proper to have a character that has a wrong idea about the world and be corrected by the excellent examples of people proving him wrong and therefore offering him an opportunity to actually change as a character that seems to be something that is not respected now in Hollywood and I see that as something as not only a growing trend in Hollywood but an established trend that we see consistently throughout the years of filmmaking specifically Star Wars where female lead characters are not allowed to have any mistakes and the characters around them have to be perfectly in sync with their morality without any character growth and I think that's the frustrating thing that we have with the current trend of sci-fi and fantasy nowadays we saw with Rings of Power where Galadriel even though the character was stunningly annoying and idiotic and wrong at least in the fans mind she had to be portrayed as epically perfect in anything she does even the wrong thing she does has to be perfect and everyone else has to be stupid and dumb around her and that is a terrible way of endearing a character to the audience where they're always perfect and right and they're annoying at the same time and it seems like Netflix avatar is taking on that tradition of making annoyingly perfect characters that have no errors or flaws that allow them to actually grow as a character and I think this is crazy to steal that story from Soka because it shows how he changes throughout the, the series and even though it's a small part of the series is like the first few episodes it's still a significant thing that we see him changing and it takes away uh, the kind of the epic growth of Katara as well where she has to fight against these doubts uh, about her strength because she's a woman and I think I thought this uh, would be the, the perfect sort of uh, animation for or cartoon for Netflix to adapt because it already has a strong I guess empowering message for women done right you know convincing way where you do have character growth but it seems like that is seen as a flaw now in Hollywood if you do have character growth where someone is thinking in an incorrect way and they change their ways you're not allowed to do that anymore and I think that is the biggest thing I, I dislike like about Hollywood nowadays where you can't have changes in character and this seems like a big change because that's how they meet Aang uh, the avatar she gets mad because of Sokka's dismissal of her strength because she's a woman and I think that is changing the origins of the story right there and this is leading to a lot of people to suspect that this may have been part of the reason why the creators of the avatar last airbender series left the show people are speculating were fired from the show because they had so much disagreements with the producer of the Netflix live action adaptation that they were pushed out of the show for these changes and I think I'm beginning to believe that I was unsure of that but it's always a bad sign when the creators of the show leave the show and it seems like these creators weren't given the strength and power to, to make changes in the show like Ichiro Odo with the One Piece live action adaptation it seems like they got a bad deal because they're changing parts of the show in a way where I think probably the creators themselves are not looking towards having these changes and I think that is obviously something that could lead to a schism in the show where the overall creators are going to leave on bad terms in the middle of production and that seems like to be the case for this uh, production and it's lowering my faith in this show because it's such a simple story arc but it goes along with the Hollywood trends of avoiding these difficult topics that lend themselves to character growth 
for specific people in the story and i think that is a fear in hollywood that we're seeing consistently tackling tough subjects that allow character growth because you have to see someone be wrong in a way and then you have to see them be corrected and they, they're hesitant to show that because they have to show the wrong think first and they're afraid of showing wrong think in hollywood because they're going to be accused of the wrong think that they presented so if they present this guy as someone that uh, doesn't believe in women he, uh, he believes in uh, sexism and things related to that they are scared that the fans are going to see them as sexist because they presented this person who eventually changes so I, I think that is just the way Hollywood is so restricted nowadays where you can't even present different ideas that are wrong and see character growth because the audience you're pandering to is only going to see the wrong thing and they're not going to see the, the overall growth because they're going to accuse you of presenting this wrong thing and, and supporting it it's a kind of the simple mindedness of social media and the pressures around that is bleeding out the creativity in Hollywood and even more than that probably Probably the, the producers and writers of the show just don't know how to write. I think that's the main thing about Hollywood nowadays. You have uh, incompetent and incapable writers that when they're seeing this series, they can't even understand character growth anymore. For them, character growth is an imperfect process that lends itself to imperfect presentation of their personal ideals. And, and when you think about it like that, they're here to present their personal ideals. They don't want to show a character story or process or growth growth they're trying to show their own personal ideals and present it in a perfect way so it's not about the story anymore and i think that's my biggest dislike of current hollywood it's not about the story or characters anymore it's about the presentation of ideals and i think this a whole mix-up of them dislike showing any parts of sexism in the show is because that's against their personal ideas and they're trying to present their personal ideals through the story and not show you a good story or a good overall character arc of an interesting person that you want to follow they're just about presenting their ideals and i think that's why they had to change this part of the story because it goes against their ideals and that is just the signature of current day hollywood and this kind of greatly reduces my expectations of the show i expected it to be something amazing because just overall it has the look and feel of the avatar series but now that i see they're taking out critical parts of the show a part of the show that shows multiple characters growth katara where she has to go against her tribe and, and soka where he grows and understands the capabilities of women where he, he, he becomes a more charismatic character that people like because of that and i think that is the the process that we're missing here where the people don't want to show the process of becoming a great person they just want to present their ideals they don't want to show character growth and i think that's going to be a missing part especially when he meets these different tribes of people that actually present a way for him to understand the strength of women uh, the, like the kiyoshi tribe when he meets suki and i think that is the great loss right here you miss out on these character dynamics where it offers you a peek into who these characters are and they're stripping it away and it just shows a lack of understanding of creating and writing a good story and that art form seems to be lost entirely in hollywood but you tell me what you think about the situation do you think they made a grave mistake kind of taking out this personality trait from soka i i think absolutely that's the case it makes me hesitant to see what else they took out of this story and i'm not really looking forward to seeing this avatar the last airbender but maybe i'll be wrong so leave a like comment tell me what you think about the situation like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time